Okay, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the rolling hills of Somerset. We're back out um, looking for the Somerset coalfield, uh, some of the collieries. Um, we're going to look for the little ones now around Timsbury. I don't think there's going to be much left of, uh, of them, but we'll, we'll have a look. First one we're going to look for is Hayes Wood. Now, trying to park somewhere and get to this place uh, was quite difficult. So what I've done, I've parked in Timsbury and I'm going to go for a little hike. Um, I think this is called Slight Farm. It's up for sale, apparently. So we're going to walk up here, walk along a hill and see if we can get above where the colliery was, perhaps take the drone off. The weather's not brilliant. It's not windy, but it is, uh, it is raining, showers now and then. So we'll, we'll try and uh, try and get some views of it. It is like an industrial estate, I think. So what I'll do is I'll walk past it above it then walk back along the road, which is a bit dodgy, but there's no footpaths and then go in and uh, have a look around from the inside, see if there's any build, old buildings left. I've, I have driven past it and I can't see anything, but uh, yeah, so let's uh, get to above Hayeswood Colliery, which is only, I don't know, 500 metres away from New Congre, um, or Upper, sorry, Upper Congre uh, Colliery, where we visited before, where they're building new houses. So we'll have a look here, and there's a couple more around here I want to have a look at as well, which I don't think um, we'll find anything. Just on the map, it just shows old disused shafts. So, yeah, well, join me back in a minute when we get to Hayeswood Colliery. Um, you've obviously seen the drone footage I took. Uh, so this, this was, I think this shot in 1862. Um, there's a, a plaque here. Obviously like children. Yeah, there you go. This is the site of Hay, Hayeswood Colliery, 1750 to 1862. And that's a, a little boy uh, pulling out a cart of coal. So yeah, this is um, Hayeswood Colliery. I don't know if there's any buildings left. Um, I don't know if it's private property, it is private property. So yeah. It's obviously a memorial to, uh, to uh, this monument was erected in 2002 by the Young family who owned the premises defined by Michael Young, sculptured, sculpt, sculpted by Derek Carr. Oh, I wonder if that is the building then. It's a little picture of it. Well, there's a building. I don't know if you can see it. It's behind that building there. We'll have to go to the road. You can just see the roof of it behind, behind that uh, building with the square windows in. Um, I reckon that is one of the original buildings. Um, we'll try and see it from the road. Yeah, that's got to be, that taller building, that's got to be the original, um, what would you call it, winding house? It's got to be, just to our left, you can't really see that big tree's in the way, but that was, I can see the batch, so over to the left behind that big tree is the batch, yeah, that building is definitely, one of the original buildings. Uh, 
Excellent. So there is a building left there. But this obviously closed quite late. 1862 was quite late. Obviously, a lot of the others were shut by some of them as early as 1805. In 1845, 14 men were working one mile from the mouth of the pit. The men were approaching old workings without any plans, when suddenly water broke through and flooded the mine. Seven men and four boys lost their lives.